to the city. What a life for us, we miss it. Growing up is full of stretch, you care and stress. How I long to be back home. Everyone leave me alone. Growing up is full of stretch, you care and stress. I bet they're in those open spaces having heaps of fun. While I'm spelling, multiplying, help me anyone. I must confess I'm in a mess with no place to turn to. Far from home, alone, what is a country girl to do? Ahoo! Morning, Anne. Time to get up. Jimmy love Good morning grandma Good morning mother It's going to be a good day for your party grandma Oh saints preservers is it that late the same time you always get up. I was out the front before the milkman arrived. They were out here preparing breakfast long before I got back, Mother. Besides, there'll be plenty for you to do later on, telling us what you want got ready for the party. So give in, Mother. I hope Grandma likes this. Just as well you told me. I'll give her a tea cosy instead. Oh, you were going to give that to your mum. Mum won't mind another of them, if. She's always leaving them around on top of the stove and they start to smoulder and smoke and then someone has to yell, fire! Oh, Picks, to think we'll be seeing them so soon. I know, every time I think of it, I get goosebumps. Botheration! Why can't I get my parcels looking as presentable as yours? Nothing to it. Now, put that over that. And that over. I'm not looking in case it's mine. <gasps> Don't tell me we're supposed to give you a present. Out, out, out! You haven't finished wrapping your presents yet. Told you they'd be giving you one. Grandma said that if you want a stir of the pudding for good luck, you've got to come soon. What's wrong with right now? Good thinking. Bags, we lick the bowl. Not if we've got anything to do with it. I get first stir. Uh, after you, Anne. Sweet, Jimmy. Line up. Line up. Line up. Ah, ah, the brandy, dear. Oh. Stingy thing. <laughs> <laughs> I wish... Uh-uh, don't tell anyone or you won't get it. Oh, yes, I will. I'm getting to see my parents today. Oh, anyway. Oh, you. Now I've got to think of something else. Is there money in it, Grandma? None of your business. But as a matter of fact, there is. Goody! I thought I had something quick. Mm, that smell. Ah, Jack, none of that or you won't be invited oh, to Christmas oh, dinner. I'm stirring, I'm stirring. 
Oh, you two girls can spread out the pudding cloths and Andy, get the string, will you? Jimmy, scissors? Grandma, what time do we have to leave to meet the train our parents will be on? No need to leave for ages yet, sweeties. Your parents specifically asked not to be met. We have to. We can't not. Well, I'm sure they must have had their reasons, dear. She made it up. She wouldn't, would she? I'm going to meet that train, but she can't. She said not to. Can't I just? You coming? I don't think we ought to. Suit yourself. Girls, I want them to start washing the good china. Jimmy! I need more wood cut to keep the fire going if we're going to get all these cooked. Oh, well, uh, why not leave that job to me, ma'am? Not a bad hand with an axe, even if I say so myself. I'll start on that wood now. Where did I put my cap? Oh, there it is. Oh, and I mustn't forget the mistletoe. Someone will have to ride out and get that. Consider it done, Grandma. Pronto! Bless you, sweeties. What's that? That will be the girl's parents. No, we've got to go and left, but I've seen enormous bunches of mistletoe on the trees up by the old diggings. I'm not allowed. What makes you think I am? But if we use our heads, we'll be right as pie. I'm still not allowed. Sizzling sausages, you having to insist on me or something? Not me, it's just that us at home agreed not to upset Grandma. <laughs> now I've heard everything. How's she gonna know unless you tell her, scaredy cat? You coming or not, slope coat? <laughs> So I said to Dan, I said, I don't know anyone who couldn't use a few dozen extra eggs or some extra pounds of butter or some pints of clotted cream when they've got a house full. We've kept it all wrapped in wet sacks the whole way, Mrs. Hall. Oh, how wonderful, Mrs. Wilson. Thank you. And you know where the eggs go. Molly, the butter and cream in the ice chest, I think. There's enough room. We'll make some. Oh, jeepers, Molly. Real sunny creek clotted cream. Yum. Double yum. Captain Jack saw us in the passage when he said he'd pick us all the strawberries he had. Can these be the same girls we sent away? Not quite. Praise be. <laughs> <laughs> well, look who I found out the front trying to make us here. We did try to knock. Our contribution to the festivities, madame. Voila! This is about far enough. Now, who's the chicken? Bark, bark, bark! And not. It's hard to. It's just there's plenty of decent mistletoe around here. Is that with me, Max? Look back there. I'm not going any further than that, but... And in there, further back, will you look at that? Wow, Lou. Imagine Grandma's face if I got her one of those. I'm too busy thinking about what my dad will do to me. He knew I was in this far. Yeah, and who's going to tell him? And if you're that frightened of another wild thing, I'll be the one who shins up and gets it. You know, my dad reckons there's a time where it's sense to be scared. 
It is hard to tell until the fizzy drink is added at the last minute. <laughs> not for me, it isn't. It is perfection, is that not so? Mm. Monsieur is right. Don't keep us in suspenders, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> and really, some passion fruit, I think, about a dozen. Just to give it that touch of tartness. Come on, Marguerite. There's a vine around the side. There won't be a tick, Grandma. <laughs> There's no hurry, dear. We're, we're right on time. I don't know about anybody else, but I could do with a cuppa and a bite to eat. Oh, why not? Mother? <laughs> well, I wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't seen it myself, scamp. Some of Pixie's tidiness must have rubbed off on you. Oh, I wasn't that bad, was I? Worse. Oh, you should talk. When I opened your side of the wardrobe, half your shoes fell out. <laughs> Ah, she makes a fine, solid sandwich. Just this house. Actually, Molly's mum made them. Oh. But you <laughs> men were too busy discussing the technicalities of making the perfect punch to notice. Ah, you'd be an asset in any galley, Mr. Wilson. For goodness sakes, call her in the jackal. She won't know who you're talking to. <laughs> a woman who knows how to take a hand. Thank you, you know. I bet those two little brats are hiding so that they can get out of work. But it's lunchtime. That's what worries me. If they're not, they've been gone for ages. Crikey, Moses, yes. Well, if they were at the back, we would have seen them. Fredo, Jimmy. Lunchtime, fellas. Lunchtime. Jimmy? Fredo? Not in there. Not in there either. Well, we've got to find them before Grandma and Aunt Vera start to worry. Well, we know they went looking for mistletoe, but which way did they go? Look, they set sail out past my place, the young rapscallions. Find them and hurry them up, will you? There's a good lass is. The last thing we want is tonight spoiled for your Grandma or Vera. a spitball between the mine shafts here. So what? I'm not going between them, I'm going over them. Who said it's got to be you? Yeah, 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 Peter. If you were out here, you couldn't be back there with everyone finding jobs for him to do. Didn't you say something like that before? You think I'm stupid, don't you? Well, actually, no. I'm horribly afraid you're right. <laughs> Spot on, Lassie. Spot on. Oh, uh, um, where do you want the big glass ones to go, Charlotte? Oh, hmm? I'll leave that to the girls, Jack. Oh. Although Vera's two usually have hectic fights about who's going to do what when it comes to decorating the Christmas tree. <laughs> As a matter of fact, now I've come to think of it. Oh, them. Jimmy's gone to Freddo's house to play. Oh? Is that where they are? I was beginning to wonder. Uh, no need. And before you start counting heads, Mrs. Robertson, Pixie and Molly are running an errand for me. Wow. 
You've no idea what a weight off my mind it's been, knowing that the girls settle down here so well. Oh, B, I don't know why you were worried. After all, you told us what good friends they were. Never a cross word between them, I think you said. <laughs> <laughs> Diggings are that way. They know they're not allowed to go there. So? You are the stubbornest female I've ever met. They'll be that way. Molly! Taxi, Molly! Molly! It's all right, Frito. We're here. Where's Jimmy? He was up on this branch and it broke and he fell and he just sort of disappeared in the hold miles deep. And I called and called and he wouldn't answer. Jimmy's dead. Whoops, ready about fear. Thank you, gentlemen. Where do you want these, Mum? Oh, I hate to tell you. Can you see him? No, there are timbers sting out halfway down. Jimmy! Jimmy, can you hear me? You can't hear you once you're dead. Jimmy, it's me and Molly. We've come to get you out. Dead and buried. Did you hear something? I wasn't sure. Jimmy! Jimmy, was that you? Yes, yes, I didn't do it on purpose. I told him not to, I did. Oh, you just shut up and sit down. We know you didn't do it on purpose, Jimbo. Are you all right, Jimmy? Do you hurt anywhere? My arm hurt, I couldn't get smart. Not to worry. Well, that blows any chance of him climbing out. <laughs> oh, it's all right, Jimmy. We'll get you out, won't we, Mo? No probs, Jimbo. Now all we have to do is work out how. Tell me and we'll both know. Buck up, Pixie. You're the planner of this family. You can't let us down now. Well, if it was a guide, two of us would stay here and do what we could. Well, the other one went to help. Oh, well, any news yet? No. And if I have to tell one more lie... Yes, tell one and you're stuck telling more. I'm worried, Anne. Obviously, the girls couldn't find them. They'd be back if they had. If I just knew where else to look. Oh. That could be them now. Jack, don't tell me you haven't started to change no, yet. No, no, not yet. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Watson. Hello there. You wanted the sheet music for the Christmas carol, Charlotte. Oh, bless you, Ethel. Nothing like a sing-song to get the party going. Come and meet everybody. Oh, oh, I need help first to bring down the ginger pot for the punch. Uh, 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 no, you don't. Mr. Jack, would you be kind enough to help Mrs. Watson with the ginger beer? Yes, certainly. Madame. Come on, Dan. I know where Grandma keeps that lemonade. Right. Move on, Jack. Radio. Molly be coming down for you, Jimmy. Molly, I'll try my best not to let you in. I wouldn't be doing it if I didn't know that. Look out below! Then. Huh? We will have to find something smaller. Oh. The cushion, perhaps. Oh, no fear. Look, I'll breathe in, and then you give it everything. Ready? Wait. Right. <laughs> oh. We have success. What? Even if I can't breathe? 
What in the blue blazes? All right, matey, where are they and what sort of trouble are they in? That should do it. a bit better already. You wait till we get the plaster on. Will you? Both of you? Sure will, Jimbo. We'll hold you to that. You should hold your weight. If I kneel down, you've got to try standing on my shoulders, okay? Nothing to it, eh, Pix? No, Molly's still down there. What? Molly, you all right? No prop. Provided you lot remember to bring a rope. <laughs> I'll stop it. That's my best friend down there. Oh, all right, all right. We'll have her out in two ticks of a lamb's tail. Okay, Put a half inch around that, will you? Stand. Yeah. Right on, Molly. Here we go. Okay, look at that. Hold on to the end of that. Okay, yeah. Yeah. All right. Firmly. Ready. Right, pull down. Have your attention. A little bit of chush, please. The toast, Captain Jack. <laughs> Thank you, John. Well, now, I'd like you all to raise your glasses and drink a toast to Pixie and Molly. <laughs> Pixie and Molly. <laughs> One more toast I'd like you all to drink with me, and that is to the dear lady who consented yesterday to become my wife. <laughs> Mom! That's marvellous! It's <laughs> just wonderful. Grandma! Captain Jack! Yeah. Can I be bridesmaid? Certainly, why not? Can I still come around when you're having a roast? <laughs> Jimmy, yeah, if you Jimmy. didn't, I'd be cross. <laughs> That's Thank you, Jimmy. <laughs> and ah, as for Pixie. you two, <laughs> Captain Jack and I want you to come and live with us. Yes, we do. Oh, no, you yeah. don't. Yeah. Oh, well, we'll <laughs>